if you uh, see properly from the source book of Allen's keynote, from the uh, our uh, uh, master herring's uh, uh, the guiding symptoms actually, if you see uh, the symptoms are actually uh, I, I I suspect a, a typing mistake or a spelling problem uh, instead of lack canadium. If you see lack defloratum, you can see this similar symptom along with the case scenario which is given in the keynote itself. A woman had taken 10 or 12 enema daily often passed four or five weeks without evacuation passed means the weeks passed not the stool passed okay so often passed four or five weeks without an evacuation cured constipation of 15 years standing so lack diplomatic i am speaking about lack diplomatic 10 to 12 enema five four to five weeks there is no stool then 15 years constipation is cured. So everything is according to in lack diploidum. If you see hearing is guided symptom, no two go in but tabacum. So that may be a spelling mistake or master HCLN might have written lack diploidum and tabacum in bracket. And the typing people might have done this. I don't know. Because I have tried uh, uh, to see is lack and enum and tubo enum similar symptom, but I couldn't find. But at the same time, I found uh, two tabacum exact symptom of enema in Guiding symptom by hearing, constipation, inactive bowel or paralysis of rectum. I am speaking about tobacco now. Constipation, inactive bowel or paralysis of rectum, spasm of the sphincter, prolapses of ANI, of ears standing, of ears standing, herpes of ANS. So these are the symptoms in tobacco. So I believe uh, tobacco can be uh, the comparable symptom to syphilinum in case of enema, all this uh, constipation, etc. of ear standing. Okay, constipation of ear standing. Then um, the ear answer is syphilinum. Then if at all, but, uh, but being said this, if at all a question comes and the option is having lacanenum, tuboenum, syphilinum and all the above, you should not simply write syphilinum and come back. You have to write all the above because that question, uh, uh, question um, examiner must have uh, referred this keynote brackets, not the uh, source book. So uh, that time you don't take a risk, syphilinum, lacanenum, tuboenum, only you do the answer. But if at all there is a chance of this kind of comparisons and this option is there that means the question setter understood this and they might have changed so you have to go for like defloratum and tobacco if it is that case okay so uh, this is a match the following headache better by conversation the headache better by drinking green tea this is a very unique symptom unique symptoms in key in the boring we have to already always we have to take care we have to mind that and we have to study that carbonic acid then Headache better by sleep, that is natrum mule. Okay. Headache better while eating, lithium carb. And better by conversation is dull camera. So the answer will be <coughs> C, A3, headache better by conversation, dull camera. Then B4, that is uh, headache drinking green tea, carbonic acid. So uh, see, if you know only the green tea and carbonic acid, you have two options only to rule out. So uh, see, if you are a person who already knows, Better by conversation, dull camera, A3, your time is saved. Only by knowing two answers also you can get into the answer. There is no big confusion. Okay. So, headache uh, better while eating. Uh, that means in lithium carb, if you see the symptom, it is written headache ceases while eating. Ceases. Ceases means stops. Ceases while eating. Then uh, if you see um, carbonic acid, one more symptom is there. Headache better by uh, drinking green tea. Uh, that is amelioration by drinking green tea and it is written while smoking. I doubt whether it is amelioration while smoking or whether it is agri I mean, a day during or while smoking because there is no proper punctuation uh, like after the headache there is no uh, signs of anything just it is a running symptom the day amelioration by drinking green tea while smoking. So it can be amelioration while smoking also but you have to just be aware of this and uh, a day conversation, conversation that camera so um, another conversation related symptom which can be studied as a chain question of this question is conversation uh, loses the thread of conversation loses the thread of conversation constantly is medorinum medorinum another symptom of conversation loses the thread of con uh, conversation um, constantly medorinum so next question asthma in the aged with blue skin so that is a 
um, uh, remedy which you can study like the, the end stage remedy, the, the collapse remedy, such like that you can study. So it is carbovage. So options are carbovage, cuprumet, trosira and senega. So carbovage is there. And the carbovage boric uh, introductory area if you read, uh, you can see one interesting symptom like disintegration. Disintegration and imperfect oxidation imperfect oxidation so uh, why i am writing all this is i'm just uh, thinking this kind of questions can come so if at all it, it is coming it is good for you so oxidation is the keynote of this remedy so is the keynote highly recommended excellent remedy wonderful remedy useful remedy uh, like that many remedies are there in boric if you get um, if you are preparing for UPSC, you can study all those later. Otherwise, for the next year, APG, whoever is preparing, you can study that. All those areas you can compile and study. All the highly recommended, great remedy, useful remedy, um, the keynote of the remedy, uh, then um, the wonderful remedy, uh, wonderful medicine. Sometimes it will be medicine, so you have to search everything. Okay, uh, better is always keep a uh, hard bind uh, diary so that whatever points you are extracting from the books, you can write down together, all similar things together. Okay, next is cuprum met boric. Cuprum met boric, if you see, angina with asthmatic symptom and cramp. So cramp is one of the keynote of cuprum met. Everywhere cramp will be there, cholera cramps, then other cramps. So angina with asthmatic symptoms and cramp. It is actually not, uh, uh, it is actually in boric, but in bracket, why I took this symptom especially, not other symptoms because this one is in boric, but boric is quoting this symptom from Clark. So you can see a bracket uh, near this, angina with asthmatic symptoms and cramps, and cramps, sorry for the handwriting, cramps, brackets Clark. So Clark's symptom is quoted by boric, that makes it unique. That makes it important. So this time you can expect this kind of question. Angina with asthmatic symptoms and cramp is uh, by Clark in Boric. Okay. So Drosera, uh, you can see asthma when talking with the contraction of the throat at every word uttered. So at every word uttered, at every word uttered, there is a contraction in throat. Uh, so this is the symptom of asthma of Drosera. Other cough symptoms, respiratory symptoms are there. But at every word uttered, there is a contraction when talking in asthmatic patients is Drosera. And Senega, you know, it is known as snake word. Snake word. We know thorough word. All those words actually. So snake word remedy. So uh, uh, this is old asthmatics. Old asthmatics. Why we are comparing these symptoms? Because we are coming up from asthma in age. So snake, Senega old asthmatics with congestive attacks. Congestive attacks. Then difficulty raising of tough profuse mucus in the aged. That is also an aged related symptom. Difficulty in raising of tough profuse mucus in the aged. Aesthetic bronchitis, a very exhausting weak bronchitis of old people. Aesthetic bronchitis of old people with chronic interstitial nephritis or chronic emphysema. And again, Senega <coughs> symptom. So aesthetic bronchitis of old people with the chronic interstitial nephritis or chronic emphysema. Then um, here uh, Kabovich is the answer. And a patient suffering from Quincy complains of pain as if splinters in throat accompanied with nasal discharge smelling like old cheese. He has feeling as if wind were blowing on some part the indicator remedy is. So these are the characteristics even by knowing only one symptom as if wind were blowing on some part. By seeing this itself we can answer actually. But there are some confusing remedies, cross running remedies like milk sword is given because Quincy is given, <coughs> pain is given, then cheese, old cheese. So answer is uh, uh, Hepasal from Boric, Hepasal from Boric. So this is a Boric uh, related question. So you can see in 2021, uh, not just key, uh, keynote based uh, metrimedia questions, all Boric uh, class related questions. So in Merck sword keynote, if you see, nose. The symptom of nose. That's why this is confusing because in keynote you might have seen this old cheese in Merck's soul. So that's why they are keeping Merck's soul as the second option. To make it uh, make yourself wrong and to eliminate you. That's why the importance of reading simultaneously boric. So no symptom of uh, Merck's soul if you see acrid nasal secretion, having odor of cheese, odor of old cheese, odor of old cheese, nasal secretion, 
Okay, then nostrils red, raw and ulcerated. So this is Merck salt. Then uh, uh, if you see, <coughs> yeah, uh, old cheese. If you see old cheese, if you see in phytolacca also, you can see a symptom of old cheese like phytolacca decantra, tumefied breast. That means a swollen, a swollen breast. Uh, neither heals nor suppurates. It won't suppurate, it won't heal, it will be swollen, it will be always swollen. Phytolaca. Hard as old cheese is of a purple hue. The observation, examination, if you do, it will be of a purple color, purple hue will be there over the breast and it will be hard as old cheese. Hard as old cheese. Breast symptom. This is phytolaca for you. Phytolaca and uh, uh, if you see in brackets, Bryonia, Lac, uh, uh, lac Caninum and Philandrinum. So Philandrinum remedy which uh, is there in the bracket of uh, Alan's keynote Phytolaca. If you see Philandrinum, Philandrinum Aquaticum. It is not a um, mineral spring based uh, remedy or anything. By seeing the word Aquaticum you should not get confused. So it is a vegetable kingdom remedy. It is known as water drop wort. Water drop wort another word actually water drop wort philandrinum and uh, the symptoms are actually comparable to breast symptoms of phytolaca that's why it came in the brackets of uh, uh, phytolaca philandrinum if you see the breast symptoms pain in milk duct intolerable between nursing pain in the nipples these are the symptoms of philandrinum aquaticum pain in milk duct intolerable between nursing and uh, here the answer is a puzzle uh, because has a feeling as if wind were blowing on some part that is a unique symptom of a parcel so always you always you look for a, a unique symptom oh, even though there is a big case scenario which points out to your commonly used remedy therapeutics but you have to look for a unique symptom <coughs> okay so next one um, always feel better by walking slowly about although weakness obliges the patient to lie down is a symptom of ferrum met so Paramet is the answer and uh, this is a very direct keynote of Paramet. So always feel better by walking slowly about. Although weakness obliges the patient to lie down. And if you see Cali iron modalities, worse by warm clothing. Warm clothing, Cali iron. Then warm room. The iodum part is showing the warm aggravations. Then at night and damp weather, at night. At night, damp weather. These are the aggravations of Cali iodine. If you see better by motion and open air, better by motion and open air. <coughs> and if you see pulsatilla, pulsatilla modalities are aggravation on beginning to move, lying on the left side, aggravation, or on the painless side. See, if you have a pain on the left side, you, you will be better by lying on the, um, I mean, you will be having aggravation on the uh, lying on that opposite side, painless side. So if you will uh, have a pulsatilla symptom indicated, uh, pulsatilla is indicated the patient will be better by lying on the painful side, amelioration, painful side, lying on painful side, amelioration, lying on painful side. Then uh, cold air or cold room amelioration, cool room. Cold air, cool room amelioration, eating or drinking cold things amelioration for pulsatilla, cold application amelioration. It is also having um, uh, like the um, uh, rich food, fatty food aggravation, pulsatilla. Uh, then rust tox modalities you all know, aggravation rust, aggravation during rust. Then amelioration motion, change of position, moving affected parts. So if you have a pain on your uh, left hand, you will be better by moving it. So that is rust tox. Okay, moving, motion, then change of position, etc. So um, now we have some complementary relationship uh, uh, question. So I have done all study materials regarding the uh, complementary relationship, antinodal relationship, etc. You can go through them. So here, uh, if you see uh, iodum, iodum and lycopodium. So lycopodium and iodum. So if you see the duration of action, because I feel some remedies, uh, uh, at least the previous year questions remedies, we should go for the duration of action for some remedies at least. I will go through this side remedies uh, duration of action, 30 to 40 days according to Gibson Miller, iodum action is 
so the thyroid action is 30 to 40 days and sulfuric acid uh, the complement relationship is with pulsatilla and sulfuric acid uh, 30 to 40 days again 30 to 40 days again then calcarea force calcarea force is having root relationship and it is also uh, around 60 days 60 days uh, action with the calcarea force then ethusa ethusa around 20 to 30 days duration action according to gibson miller calcarea carb ethusa so everything you know you cannot find this complement relationship in the uh, alan's keyrone it will be some some of them are in boric okay and <coughs> so next one we have to uh, like uh, um, remedy and their common name so daisy is bellis perennis virgin bower is clematis recta spurge olive is mesirium hemlock spruce is abyss canadensis so abyss nigra is there abyss nigra so the uh, nigra word we can find out the common name actually that is black spruce one is hemlock spruce another one is black spruce nigra so black spruce Abyss canadensis is hemlock spruce <coughs> and um, hemlock when you say hemlock spruce abyss canadensis another hemlock is there water hemlock water hemlock is secuta secuta then uh, umbellifera family secuta okay you have to just uh, revise like this fast fast uh, nowadays last uh, few days and the ninth question if a, a, a 15 year old girl has spasmodic paroxysmal cough since two to three weeks the cough is aggravated in the morning when she gets expectoration it is uh, also aggravated by reading aloud and when in company of others the indicator remedy is so uh, company of others alert key note whatever remedy is there you have to bring in your mind then morning when aggra uh, aggravated in morning when she gets expectoration then spasmodic paroxysmal cuff okay spasmodic paroxysmal cuff that is uh, uh, ambragrasia full ambragrasia actually from keynote itself then uh, in the intermittent fever of syncona the characteristic symptoms are paroxysm anticipates two to three hours each attack that is true so it is a, a direct uh, sentence from the keynote intermittent fever paroxysm anticipates from uh, two to three hours uh, each attack okay that is the uh, first point then another point is taken from boric actually thirst before chill little and often that is taken from boric so next one intense thirst during heat this is not there in uh, the uh, I mean keynote or boric of syncona and profuse set on least exertion that is there free, free perspiration the words are in boric free perspiration caused by every little exertion so uh, especially on single parts single parts that is the sentence so a b d is the answer a b d only that is b is the answer so <coughs> see now one is taken from uh, keynote one is taken from boric another one is taken from boric that is the importance of reading simultaneously from all the elements keynote uh, from the uh, boric also and um, if your preparation is having a long duration uh, for next year AAPGT if you are studying 2025 AAPGT then you will have to study from Clark also, Kent also I will show you questions from Kent how they are coming so Kent also, Nash also you have to study all these uh, 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 metropolitan together you have to study so another sweat on uh, affected parts uh, uh, sweat only on single part that is the symptom of syncone along with that calcarea carb also if you see calcarea carb uh, sweat on single parts head like for example the head then scalp will be wet then uh, nape of neck will be uh, sweating chest will be sweating axilla only will be sweating sexual organs only will be sweating single parts hand can be sweating knees can be sweating feet can be sweating people will come and tell you only this part i have sweating this is uh, calcarea carb also sepia sepia you can compare um, actually for feet sweating along for calcarea carb and uh, sepia according to jt kent's lecturers on homeopathy lectures on homeopathy uh, metamedica which remedy has anxiety and impulse to do violence when keeping still or during rest this is a 
exact sentence, direct sentence from iodine, iodine, iodine. So if you read the iodine metromedica of J.T. Kent, you can see anxiety. The anxiety comes on when trying to keep still. And the more he tries to keep still, the more anxious state increases. So his anxiety will increase. And uh, uh, this is the explanation of Kent uh, iodine actually. Exactly that is taken. So beautifully you can read along with Kent, uh, uh, along with keynotes and you can um, highlight all these important unique symptoms. Okay. So, given below are two statements, what is labeled as assertion? Zincum metallicum must not be used before or after metronica. Yes, that is true. This is a sentence directly from the keynote. Why? Why? What is the reason? Because zincum metallicum and metronica have an inimical relationship. Yes, that is also true. So, that's why B and A and R are true and R is the correct explanation of A. So, you can see in the keynote, if you see, Zingum met and exomica inimical. Chamomilla and exomica inimical to zingum. Actually, zingum inimical if you see chamomilla and exomica. So, it is written should not be used before or after. So, they have made a assertion reason question. That, that shows that every inimical, every um, uh, antidote, all those kind of relationship is possibly an assertion reason question. Okay. <coughs> Which of the following symptoms are characteristic of Nexmo scatter? So, Nexmo scatter, rheumatic affection of right shoulder, amelioration by cold wet weather, vanishing of thoughts while reading, talking, or writing, great dryness of my mouth, no thirst, great soreness of all parts of uh, on which one lies, changeable humor. So, these all are true. Changeable humor, one moment laughing, the next kind, yes, great soreness of all parts on which, uh, keynote of Nexmo scatter. Great dryness of mouth with no thirst, keynote. Vanishing of thought while reading, talking or writing, that is also a keynote. So, the rheumatic affection of, uh, rheumatic affection is actually not of right shoulder, it is left shoulder. In, in our um, remedy, Dexmoscata, left shoulder. Then, it is aggravated, aggravated in cold wet weather or cold wet clothes. Even Rustox is having that symptom, Rustox and uh, uh, Nexmo scatter, wet clothes on uh, aggravation, rheumatic complaints. So, the other symptoms all are, uh, we can just uh, develop this symptom, vanishing of thoughts while reading, talking or writing, uh, uses wrong words, uh, does not recognize well-known streets, well-known streets also they don't recognize. Cannabis indica lacrosis and Nexmo scatter for that symptom. Great dryness of mouth, no thirst is Epis lacrosis. Epis lacrosis and Nexmo scatter. <coughs> and uh, no thirst is Pulsatilla. No thirst. So, great dryness of mouth, Epis and lacrosis and Nexmo scatter. So, um, if you see, great sores of all parts on which one lies, that is a symptom found in Nexmo scatter. Also, Baptitia and pyrogen, baptisia and pyrogen. Then um, tendency to bud sore, that is also there in the uh, uh, like uh, great soreness of all parts on which lies the once one more symptom is a tendency to bed sore. So sometimes that alone can come question. Tendency to bed sore, which is the remedy. Text mosquito with the calendula with the hepatosis with the, all those injury remedies with the echinacea. So tendency to bed sore, the keynote is from Next Moscata. And uh, sudden change from grave to gay. That is the uh, extra, uh, I mean, extra <coughs> symptom of changeable humor. One moment laughing, one uh, the next cry, crocus and ignatia also there. Crocus, ignatia and next moscata. You just recollect all these symptoms. Okay. Crocus, ignatia, next moscata. And uh, sudden change from grave to gay, from lively to serene. This is there in next moscata and platina. Platina and Nexmo scatter. Sudden change from grave to gay, from lively to serene. So, next one uh, a patient who is easily offended cannot be a contradiction and has a feeling that time passes too quickly. So, time passes too quickly is coculus. <coughs> coculus. So, it is a good remedy for motion sickness. You are uh, traveling actually very fast in a car or in a uh, in, in something ship or anything that's why your time is passing very quickly like that you can remember so time passes quickly is coculus indicus many sperm is a family 
unique families you have to study many sperm you say family then time passes too quickly too slowly time passes too slowly if you see the remedies are argentum nitricum and cannabis indica cannabis indica and argentum nitricum then cannot be a contradiction easily offended every trifle makes him angry speaks hastily that is also symptom of speaks fast speaks hastily this is a symptom of copulus also anacardium anacardium is there in the bracket <coughs> so the remedy needed by a patient with menstrual irregularity menstrual irregularity having complained from grief who feels she has neglected her duty who likes to be alone and refuses food because it tastes too salty so i have shared one experience of attending a seminar by dr saptarshi banerjee in uh, 2018 he shared one of his uh, must i mean his grandfather's ancestral uh, wisdom one of the case from their grandfather's uh, opd like uh, a patient who was uh, uh, recently married uh, who was actually not having father for many years mother is taking care of her and she actually went for honeymoon and she did not uh, i mean uh, she was not able to take her mother's call in the hotel that times uh, mobiles were not common so her mother was uh, trying to contact her for help actually she was very ill and by the time she returned from honeymoon she uh, actually uh, the her mother died and she was feeling so bad she became very anemic she very weak and she was not having any appetite she was not able to eat she was not getting better with any remedies after getting this this particular symptom who feels she has neglected her duty then after prescribing this particular remedy the patient became well so that is a case which i always uh, used to think about this remedy once i got that uh, presentation from him i cannot forget that case so that is cyclamen very very good symptom of cyclamen if you see cyclamen europium uh, so bread so bread is a common name so bread so bread and primulaceae that is also a unique family name not common primulaceae so boric if you see the symptom of menstrual irregularity with megrim and blindness megrim menstrual irregularity with megrim and blindness in keynote you can see dim vision in boric you can see blindness so megrim means a kind of melancholy like that symptom so Uh, or fear is sports the fire is sports before eyes then uh, ailments uh, from suppressed griefs uh, of uh, and uh, terrors of conscience from duty not done or bad act committed that is a boric i mean a keynote symptom of uh, cyclamen ailments of suppressed grief terrors of conscience etc then great sadness and peevishness irritable morose ill humored inclined to weep desire for solitude aversion to open air then aversion to open air is there in uh, cyclamen where reverse is pulsatilla amelioration or craving for open air then uh, pale chlorotic deranged menses uh, accompanied by vertigo headache dim vision these are the keynotes of cyclamen dim vision in boric blindness so menstrual irregularity with megrim and blindness if a question comes menstrual irregularity with megrim and blindness it is cyclamen don't forget <coughs> according to dr boric which remedy has um, as its greatest indication in heart disease failure of compensation especially when auricular fibrillation has set in so here the remedy is uh, digitalis digitalis its greatest indication is in failure of compensation and especially when auricular fibrillation sets in so if you see all are having heart related symptoms that's why it is very tough question because once you uh, like try to guess it you may go wrong because all are close running heart symptoms so cactus if you see pulseless panting prostrated three p's are there pulseless then the patient will be having panting the symptom of panting and prostrated prostrated so ppp cactus pulseless panting prostrated toxic goiter with cardiac symptoms an indication of cactus is toxic goiter with uh, cardiac symptoms now we are dealing with the cardiac symptoms alone another symptom is tobacco heart tobacco heart also comes here in calmia also <coughs> calmia 
tobacco heart. Then uh, acts best uh, cactus acts best in the incipiency of cardiac incompetence. Acts best in the incipiency of cardiac incompetence. Then uh, calmia symptoms if you see fluttering of the heart with anxiety, palpitation worse leaning forward. Leaning forward, palpitation become increased. Gouty and rheumatic metastasis of heart. Gouty and rheumatic metastasis of heart. Naja, with the heart symptoms, pain in forehead and temples. With the heart symptoms, pain in forehead and temples. Then uh, damage in heart after infectious diseases. If a question comes like that this year, directly go for Naja. Damage in heart after infectious diseases these are the symptoms of heart symptoms of this then um, uh, yeah that is all for 2021 2022 and 23 you know 18 18 question were there and this year we are expecting around uh, 16 question only so 2022 little clarity problem will be there as it is not every time at this moment so i'll uh, read out so first question of 2022 dreams of running water is a symptom of so dreams of running water is a symptom of natural sun dreams of sunning, uh, running water boric if you see <coughs> then natural mule dreams of robbers dreams of robbers so if you see the keynote also natural mule uh, dreams of robbers in the house uh, will not believe on waking until search is made. Natramur people along with Sorainam also. Sorainam and uh, Natramur both of them will not believe that it is. it was a dream. They will make a search. Until the search is made they will not believe. Natramur and Sorainam dreams of robber in the house. That is keynote. Then uh, Opium Boric if you see Opium Child dreams of cat and dogs, black forms, black forms, child's dreams, then cat, dog, these are children's dreams. Then another adult dreams then opium, pleasant, pleasant, fantastic, amorous dreams, opium, pleasant and fantastic and amorous dreams. Then uh, if you see other dreams from uh, keynote, happy dreams wake up singing. This is sulfur. Happy dreams wakes up, wakes up singing. Wakes up singing. Okay. Another uh, that is sulfur. Sulfur. Happy dreams wake up singing. Sulfur. Then uh, if you see uh, dreams of burning thirst. Dreams of burning thirst that is natramuran medorinum. Natramuran medorinum. Then uh, rest of there is uh, great exertion. Dreams of great exertion. Rest of great exertion. Dreams of great exertion. There are a lot of dreams again in the keynotes. I just took very relevant ones. Okay. So next is boric, all boric related questions. So teeth test is cup due to inhaling fungus. This is Kali hydroiodicum, Kali iode. Kali iode, if you see, this symptom is there. So A4, A4, 2 are there. Now we have to know the other, other one. So D2 is common in that. So you have to uh, make sure. Nervous affection of cigar makers. This is gelsemia. So we already confirmed D2 because D2 is all D2. Then we have to just make sure of any of this. A human thermometer sensitive to heat and cold. We know that it is mercury. Yes. So C1. C1. So the answer is 4. D is 3. Sensation of a hair on tongue is silicia. Sensation of a hair on tongue. <coughs> silicia. Then uh, next question. A remedy for effects of a repressed examinator simulating hydrocephalus disease. Helleborus niger. A2. A2 only one is there. So it is very easy. The others are very easy. So B1. Irregular menses as a result of irritation of nervous system. Ignatia. Then second stage of inflammation with plastic exudation. Cali mu. So C3. Cali mu. Plastic exudation. 
calendar. Emeralds look like bunch of grapes or red like red cherries. Dioscoria villosa. Dioscoria villosa. So this first symptom, Eleborus niger, uh, repressed exanthemata, is from Clark actually. That's why you have to read Clark also every time. So this is a symptom from Clark. Then uh, the other symptoms are from Boric. If you see, uh, you get all those symptoms in Boric. And match list one, antidote and medicine. So Sikuta, <coughs> Sikuta uh, we can see uh, their opium and arnica according to Boric. All are uh, taken from Boric or Clark. Okay, not from keynotes. This antidote relationship is not there in keynote. So Sikuta, opium and arnica. The relationship part of Boric is also very, very important. Then, um, so A1. Now B2, that is glonoin aconite. Glonoin aconite is there in boric directly. Then uh, sorainum coffea cruda, that is there in Clark actually. The relationship is given in Clark. But in boric, if you see, you can see a symptom. Sorainum patient does not improve while using coffee. This is a symptom of boric uh, from sorainum, like sorainum uh, from boric, sorry. Sorainum patient does not improve while using coffee. Also aggravation coffee, antidote by coffee, so sorainum coffee, okay. Then stramonium, <coughs> belladonna, tabacum and naxomica. Belladonna, tabacum and naxomica are the relation of uh, stramonium boric. <coughs> then obstinate constipation for years, rectum seems tied up with strictures when enema was used. This is a 2021 uh, second question uh, repeated as fifth question of 2022. So that is the previous year question, uh, Cifrinum. We discussed about tobacco and lactiferatum in this already. The remedy corresponding to symptoms of air sickness in aviators. Aviators means the people who are actually uh, doing these uh, um, flying uh, flights in the, in the beginning stage, in the first days, in the early days. So aviators as a preventive, the boric symptom is like that give as a present preventive that is belladonna so belladonna if you see boric first paragraph corresponds to the symptoms of air sickness in aviators give as preventive give as preventive so if the question is preventive for air sickness in aviators then also the, the remedy is belladonna there can be coca other remedies coquillus etc in that but it is a question based on Boric, you have to understand, preventive for air sickness in aviators is belladonna. Okay. So, um, if you see coculus, the traveling symptom, uh, the traveling uh, uh, sickness, the sea sickness, etc., are very, very important. Coculus, all its symptoms are worse riding in a carriage or on shipboard. Hence, its use in sea sickness. Sea sickness, the master of uh, sea sickness remedies is coculus. And in relationship of coculus, it is written about a symphoric carpus. The remedy symphoric carpus is compared uh, where symphoric carpus racimosa. It is also a common name is snowberry. Snowberry. Then it is uh, used for morning sickness. Morning sickness means in pregnancy. Pregnancy. The uh, symptom if you see this is written symphoric carpus. Morning sickness is written in the copulous relationship. But if you see the remedy in body. You can see a beautiful symptom. This drug is highly recommended. That's why I told you. Highly recommended. Wonderful. Uh, all those uh, remedies you have to study together. This uh, drug is highly recommended for the persistent vomiting of pregnancy. For the persistent vomiting of pregnancy. Highly recommended. Symphoric carpus. I am speaking about symphoric carpus. Okay. Next is diabetes. Especially in children. It's a symptom of. See, very close running acetic acid, camomilla, cisagium, all are given, but cretagus is the answer. Cretagus, uh, diabetes, especially in children. This kind of question can come in the interviews also. You appear for any interview, you will get that questions like this. So, cretagus is known as Hawthorne berries. Another berry, snowberry, symphoric carpus, Hawthorne berry. Hawthorne berry, cretagus. Then it is written, no, another one important interesting symptom in cretagus heart is no influence on endocardium. So if at all a question come regarding four or five points of uh, um, endocardiogus and one, one 
uh, option is a very good remedy for endocardial affections then it is wrong because <coughs> it is no influence on the endocardium no influence on the endocardium a symptom is there in cretaceous then in the beginning of heart mischief after rheumatism in the beginning of heart mischief heart related complaints after rheumatism so rheumatism affecting the heart in the beginning stages we have cretaceous there is no influence on the endocardium it is known as hawthorn berries it is having a symptom diabetes especially in children another one very important boric symptom is arteriosclerosis atherosclerosis it is uh, um, it can solve it uh, can act as a solvent uh, for the cretaceous deposits okay the next question is following drugs are derived from the loganaceae family i discussed this yesterday actually loganaceae easy mnemonic is sign sign uh, this is pygidia then ignatia and delsimium and nexomica so don't get confused that nexomica and nexmoscata are same family what is the family of nexmoscata any idea nexmoscata tell me what is the family of nexmoscata <coughs> Okay, no problem. So it is myristicaceae. Okay, myristicaceae, myristicaceae, nexmoscata. Then uh, senna, senna. If you see, it is a remedy from the family leguminosae, leguminosae. So leguminosae family, keynote remedies. Which are the keynote remedies of leguminosae? If you see, baptisia is leguminosae, baptisia. Then melilotus, alba, melilotus. Then physostigma, physostigma. These are the keynote remedies from leguminosae family. Senna, Baptisia, Melinotus, Physostigma. Okay. Which of the following is not a symptom of benzoic acid? So highly colored urine, which is a symptom. Ganglion of wrist, yes, it is a boric symptom. Offensive urine of old men, yes, it is a symptom. Cuff, words on lying on left side. That is a problem. Kai, cuff, words on lying on right side is benzoic acid. Right side is benzoic acid. So that is the asthmatic cough. Asthmatic cough, worse on night and worse lying on the right side. Then uh, enuresis of uh, and dribbling of the urine in old men, all of there. Then next question, tenth question. This is very very tougher one because uh, there is no reference as such in Ken, Nash, uh, Clark or Boric or Keynote. Five metric medicals I searched. I don't know from which other metric medical it has come. Maybe. Uh, they have applied with the other uh, like symptoms maybe so irrational talk or practice of his business this is actually bryonia the delirium is full of talk about business bryonia a2 so a2 only one is there so we'll go for others combination of vexation anxiety and prolonged loss of sleep so b3 oculus ailments from loss of sleep then c4 graphite is aversion to meat that we know so it is matching actually, but other symptoms, all the symptoms we can on find from any veterinary medical. So aversion to meat, to cooked food, to fish, to salt, to sweets, nephritis, wounds that bleeds can delay, but are followed by pain, puffiness, and coldness of part. That is letum pal. Okay. <clears throat> Next one, an old man complaining of chronic diarrhea, one symptom, chronic diarrhea, and shortness of breath. On going upstairs, the report in OPD. On examination, his tongue is clean, red and wet with center furrow. Gums are soft and spongy and multiple ulcers on soft palate. The most suitable remedy is. So this is actually the direct symptom from boric of nitric acid. Nitric acid, boric, if you see, these all symptoms you can find. Okay. So, um, mouth symptoms of nitric acid in boric. <coughs> this is a very good uh, question about the arachnid family, the spider family. So, if you see, Citeridion, we know that it is orange spider, orange spider, keynote remedy. So, D2, D2, only one is there. Now, we cross check the others. C1, Latrodictus mectans, it is one, black widow spider, yes, true. Then B3, 
that is tarantula hispania spanish hispania hispaniol that is spanish is yes, true then a4 miguel lazodora that is a4 Ca black cuban spider so tarantula cubensis is there means don't jump and answer black cuban spider tarantula cubensis is there cuban spider similarly um, tarantula hispanica spanish spider but miguel is the black cuban spider okay miguel lazodora now you will see similar ones arania diadema arania diadema arania is papal crow spider papal crow spider the latrodactyls mutans we saw southern black widow spider or black widow spider the latrodactyls hesselti that is new south wales black spider new south wales black spider the latrodactyls catipo is there that is catipo is new zealand new zealand spider these are similar ones you can expect questions from here what is latrodactyls catipo uh, common name new zealand spider then uh, michael as you already discussed that will that you know everything we discussed okay so next one a very very tougher question from kent metro america kent metro america based question actually so if you see orm met is the remedy for terrible melancholy exact lines from orm met metro america of kent terrible melancholy after abuse of mercury meditates upon death upon suicide and it cures chronic enlargement of testes and lumps in the mammary glands so these all symptoms you cannot find any symptom based on lumps in mammary gland or breast or any symptom in clark nash or keynote or borick or anywhere only in kent metro medical you can see this exact paragraph that is true statement 1 is true so statement 1 is true this is there and uh, yeah this is also there only two options the other options uh, statement 1 is incorrect so we are ruling out the 1 and 3 now we have to check whether statement 2 is incorrect or not so mercury solubilis is the remedy for chronic diarrhea with the low feeble constitution in insidious complaints and the patient craves pungent spicy highly seasoned things this is actually fluoric acid fluoric acid kent lectures exact exact lines so that's why second is incorrect and answer is statement 1 is correct but statement 2 is incorrect then a case presented with colic with convulsion jerking tearing in coccyx especially during menses with violent strange desire and sensation of internal chill needs <coughs> this is actually cicuta verosa cicuta verosa is a boring upsc favorite question area two symptoms are there very very repeatedly asked question cicuta and dolichos that is in upsc eczema with no itching that is our cicuta eczema no itching that is cicuta but dolichos is dolichos is intense itching intense itching but with no swelling or rashes with no swelling or rashes this is dolichos every time they will repeat it eczema with no itching cicuta then uh, yeah that is it then uh, next is botanical like its botanical relatives gelsimium is a great paralyzer yes this is a uh, exact line from clark metro medica gelsimium next gelsimium is indicated for neurotic symptom in cigar makers that is also true from uh, clark metro medica again also in boric it is written so it is the statement 1 and 2 are correct both are correct paroxysmal suffocative cough coming on about midnight with crying and dyspnea profuse sweat accompanies many affections in the feature is the feature of so paroxysmal suffocative cough the suffocative whooping cough all those things then uh, this exact symptom directly coming on about midnight with crying and dyspnea is found in sambucus boric it is not then keynote exact crying and dyspnea so boric symptom it is 
um, profuse sweat over entire body during waking hours. That is a symptom. So how to remember this? Profuse sweat over entire body. See, a person is sleeping. Waking hours, they are uh, waking up with sweating. Who can be that? I used to remember like this mnemonic. Shikari Shambhu, that is a cartoon character. Shikari Shambhu, our childhood uh, ca cartoon character. He used to catch the animals with luck actually. He will be sleeping. Suddenly, the animal come and jump in front of him. They will fall down. Then they will die. Then Shikari Shambhu will show the heroism. But while waking up, he will be sweating. So, Shambhu, Shambhu. Sambu, because we will forget that, so we keep all these mornings. Sambu wakes up with uh, uh, like waking hours, there will be profuse sweating. Okay, Sikari Shambu, Sambu plus. Next is bad effects of mental excitement, fright, fear, mechanical injuries, and their later consequences from having hair cut is so direct symptom of glonoin. Keynote, keynote symptom of glonoin. That is uh, also there in Aconite and Belladonna. Aconite, Belladonna. So, bad effect of mental excitement, fright, fear, mechanical injuries, and their later consequences. And uh, from having haircut. Diabetes with impotency. Horses of horses worse after talking. Better from wine. So, better from wine. Anyway, we are rolling out zingam myth because zingam myth is a remedy which is always <coughs> we rule out zingam uh, because always uh, uh, cannot stand the smallest quantity of wine this is the boric symptom of zingam cannot stand smallest quantity of wine then coca uh, if you read the uh, boric, you can see uh, similar symptoms actually. Uh, yes, coca. Coca is the answer for this actually. So, diabetes with impotency, hoarseness, worse after talking, better from wine, all are coca's characteristic features. So, coca is the answer here. In boric, it is mentioned all these symptoms. You may not find these in keynote actually. So, boric, coca, this diabetes with impotency uh, under the urinary symptoms and uh, male, male symptoms, then hoarseness of worse after talking, better from wine. This is coca boring. So, next uh, 2023 question paper I will do after a break. And